little bit um of what I gotta do because I'm trying to get breakfast and uh dinner done. Well breakfast is gonna be like for the rest of the week, okay? Well hopefully and dinner for tonight. Um I'm just gonna make like my breakfast casserole. I hope all is well and everybody is staying cool or at least trying to stay cool because this weather is like just sickening but thank you all who subscribe to my channel if you're currently viewing my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe the like button leave a comment and share so let's get into it i'm going to show you what i'm making right now all right i got my sausage over here cooking i got my hash browns right here i have to clean the celery put the rest of the hash browns away this is for dinner tonight this is the um cube steak and this is the corn that I got from the shot right eight for two. And then um, I have to figure out what else is going to go with it. But along with this casserole, I'm going to put uh, sausage and bacon in it. Uh, well, I kind of do have a lot going on today because I'm trying to get all this done before I got to pick my kid up from work today. But let's see what we can do. <laughs> in this little bit of time right here. See, the sausage is almost done. I got the bacon is cooking in the microwave, so I can just hurry up and get that done. I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone here. All right, now what I did was um, I added some, um, what you call those things? Here we go, I added some red pepper uh, flakes, um, just a little bit, some black pepper, and then I also added some garlic um, and I added that to the sausage only because um, I just got the regular sausage. I, if it's on sale, I would get the um, the hot sausage. But since not, I just uh, added the red pepper flakes. And then I'm going to let this cool off for a minute. And then I'm going to start working on the potatoes. Well, the hash browns. The, well, the shredded hash browns. <laughs> All right, I got the bacon right here. It's already done. I'm going to crumble some of this up in it. But we do have to do quality control. Mmm, and it's good. Nice and crispy. I'm going to put this on, put a little bit mixed in there, but then I'm also going to put some on top. All right, I got it all mixed up. Now I'm just going to add the sausage in there. And then I'm going to mix this up as well. Then, after I mix it, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, put some bacon in there, and then I'm not going to add the eggs until very, very last. I'll add the chum cheese now, but then I'll just top it with the rest of the cheese, and it'll just go in the oven. And then I am going to have to start on dinner soon because it's already late. Like, I came from the store. And what I decided that we was going to have for dinner, I said, oh, we don't have the meat for us. So I got to go to the store. Otherwise, I would have done this, like, earlier in the morning. But it's all right. Like, as long as it get done and I can get everything done before I got to pick my kid up from, um, from work, I think it'll be okay. Have any of you guys ever made a breakfast casserole? And if you did, how did you make it? What did you use? Because you don't, you can use anything you want. If you don't eat like bacon or sausage, you can use like mushrooms in this or um, what you call that, like eggplant or something. Something that you can shred up, you know, if you don't eat potatoes or anything like that. So would you consider making a breakfast casserole? And if so, what kind? Share. Let me go get the eggs. Aren't these just the cutest eggs? Because I didn't need to get a whole lot. But look. You got six in here. Look, and it's all nice and small, nice and compact. I like that. All right. I'm about to put this in the oven. The oven is already uh, preheated. I'm going to put this in the oven. You can add, like I said, add cheese or not. You can add more to the top if you want or if you don't. But I'm just going to put this much cheese on it. And then also, if you don't eat eggs, you don't have to add eggs in this either. All right. Now, I got to get all this cleaned up. All this right here, the trash has to go out, but um, yeah, 
Uh, I'm gonna just put it in the back for now, but I'm gonna take it out. But I gotta clean this up so I can be get ready to clean off my celery before I put my celery away. I hope you can hear me because I do got the fan on, on above the oven. But this is my celery. This is what I got from um, BJ's. <clears throat> it's kind of big, but um, <laughs> let me show you. I thought I had a, I know I have a bigger cutting board, but I don't play looking for it. So I'm just going to use this. Um, my celery is already have, has been washed off. Uh, all I'm going to do is just cut it up. And then after I cut it up, I'm going to put it in here because it's easier to get, you know, um, when you want it, when you're ready to eat it, it's just easier to get that way. So it's just best just to clean it as soon as you get it home, so you ain't gotta worry about, you know what I mean, like doing it later. So all I'm gonna do is just get this all chopped up, and then I'll show you when I'm done. You know, they taste better when they're cold. I just wanted to let you know. This. Well, for me, they taste better when they're cold, and you know, they say it's a um. A good source of hydration as well so if you like celery I suggest you get some especially in this like nasty heat that we are having get some celery and keep it on hand help keep you hydrated along with water as well so this is what we're looking like I just got one more right here I told you this is the ones I got from DJ so they pretty big but that's all right See how fast that was? Fast and easy. Now we're going to get this in the refrigerator so it can be nice and cool. Alright, well I was already in the cutting mood. I already uh, cleaned off my corn as well. But you know what? I think I'm going to have to cut it up because I don't think my pot is like wide enough for me to put the whole corn in there. So I'm going to have to cut it up. And if I didn't tell you, I don't know if your supermarket can do this, but at the shot right... They let you shuck your own corns there. So if you don't want to do it at home because you know it can get like really, really messy, you can do it right there at the store. But make sure you bring some wipes with you because I forgot my wipes. So I had to go like open a pack of wipes in the store and, and buy them. But if just if you do it at the store, just remember to bring you some wipes so you can clean your hands afterwards because it gets very messy. Now, while I wait for the casserole to get done... Um, what time is it? Like three something now. After three something, I'm gonna start dinner soon because that shouldn't take long. I'm just gonna work on my uh little steps right here. This is my little stepper that I got from TikTok Shop. And you know what? It's pretty um. <laughs> you can have fun with it, but like this really works. Like you can just really start to like up your steps like every day, and you don't feel tired like when you're walking up the steps, and like you can walk farther or whatever. Like you know, get your heart going every day. I think this is a good contraption that I got from TikTok shop. And I also got the weighted uh, hula hoop as well. And that also works too. Alright, I got my steak all seasoned up. That's just pepper on there. It came out... Well, my pepper comes out fast, but I don't care. I like pepper anyway. But, I got my steak all seasoned. And also, this might look like it's a lot. But, you, this way you can either have like leftovers and or... You can sit this, uh, sit this. You can turn this into a, uh, <laughs> a steak fajita, steak taco, or whatever. You can do whatever you want. So this is like, it's like getting two meals uh, out of one, one meat right here, one dish. You see what I'm saying? So this is good for me. This is good for my pockets. Why she cooks and bakes? Uh, she did that on her channel. She, um, you know how you save, um. How you say it? Mm -hmm. You saving money by making two meals out of one dish. So, you know what I mean? That was a, that's a uh, good idea to do. And so that's what this is going to be. So I must just cook it all up at one time. I ain't got to worry about it. Like I said, even leftovers or just make steak tacos or whatever you want to do with it. So I'm going to get this into the oven. And see, I'm cleaning as I go. So only got two knives in the sink. That's all I got to clean for right now. That makes me happy. So, let's get this in the oven. Oh, and then I'm going to check on the um, on the breakfast casserole as well. Alright, this is what it's looking like. Let's check it and see if it's done. It's coming out clean. It has to come out clean everywhere. No egg is coming up on here. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. 
All right, I'm just going to brown it up a little bit. And this is done. So, while the food is cooking, I can go ahead and do my little, uh, my little exercises on the stepper. Get some steps in. Oh, so this is what I try to do on a daily basis. At least, I, I know you're supposed to get 10,000 steps in, but at least I get 1,100 or between 1,100 and 1,500 steps a day depending on what I'm, what I'm doing, where I'm going. So, do what I can to try to stay in shape. Okay, do y'all see this rain coming down like this? Uh, yeah. And I'm hoping it stopped by time it's for me time for me to get my kid because I do not want to be soaked in wet in this rain. But until it's time for me to go get them, the breakfast casserole is done. I just gotta wait for it to cool off. Then I can put it up. But why not just do a little taste test? Even though I already know what it tastes like, but it's not gonna hurt, right? Right, look at that. Mm -hmm. And you can put uh, sour cream on top if you want. And y'all see the little bacon I said I was going to put on top? Let's just go ahead and give it a try. Uh -uh. Mm. It's hot, but it's good. Just look at it. It is coming down fast. Mm. Hey guys this is going to end this video for today i'm about to eat my food my corn string meat mashed potatoes and my cube steak and talk to you guys in the next video see you later bye, bye.